and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over whether or not the Mutt Heroes promo is worth it. So, I was thinking about this for a while, and you guys showed a lot of support towards the last time I went over the kickoff promo, which was a tiny promo. So, I feel like this is a good idea for every time we have a brand new promo, such as kickoff, superstars, Mutt Heroes, most feared Thanksgiving, to really just go in over the pros, cons, and go over the entire promo in its entirety from my biased obviously standpoint my opinion this isn't just obviously it's going to be my opinion it's not going to be like all factual because that'd be impossible because it's a promo it has different perspectives from everyone who plays the game but the point being is that i'm going to give you guys the pros the cons and the ins and outs of this promo that i think that are key points of it so we can get a good idea for what we could rate it we'll rate it we'll rate it a number at the end of the day but obviously this promo is never going to be like most feared Christmas or Thanksgiving. Those promos are the best ones we're going to get. But Mud Heroes is always a cool one. So I'm going to go all in depth on my opinions on this. Whether or not I think it's legit, it's a scam, or if it's worth it, or it's beneficial to us. I'll go over all that in this video, guys. But thank you guys for all the recent support. Boys, we, at our, we are about at 9.5k subscribers. So all you guys got to do is go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Let's make it a reality. Let's get to 10k as soon as possible. We're 500 subscribers away. At this rate, we'll be there by next week. And if you guys haven't already, also turn on that noti bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Make sure to comment down below your personal opinions on Mud Heroes because obviously I'm going to have mine, but I want to see what everyone else's bias and opinion towards the Mud Heroes promo is. And also, guys, make sure to drop a big fat like on the video, guys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. You guys have been killing the like button lately. Now let's get into this. So, what makes a good promo? For me, card art's important. Not, not, not even top five, but card art's important. A good looking promo, like it's like look good, feel good, a good looking promo, and some good looking art like this right over here. Like this is cool. So if they changed more of the scenery, I would have liked that. That's cool. So graphics are important. Do we have good graphics from this promo? Let's go check. Let's go check this over in the item binder. Is it up to par with Mud Heroes? Like usual, these cards are here. I personally don't think so. So if you guys remember last year, it was a little bit cooler. It would be like, it would say like Sa it would be Saquon Barkley and it'll be like Saquon Barkley has superhuman strength or superhuman carrying. They'd say something there. He'd have like super carrying on the front of the car. Like I feel like it used to look more like uh, comic book cards. This year, not so much. I wish it would have been more comic booky like it was last year. Is the card art good? Yes. But is it up to par with last year's or the years before? I don't think so. That's just my personal opinion. Next. Let's let's actually do this. Should we go pros or cons first? So the card art was just my. It was that wasn't a pro or a con. It was just an opinion so i'd say let's start with what's bad about mud heroes so for me personally what makes a good promo uh, uh, what makes a good promo solo challenges good cards and with the way man's trending free cards it's all you need in the promo if you get all three of those things people are gonna be happy you got your free card some good solo challenges to keep you busy and some good cards to use now starting off with the cons of mud heroes first as a content creator, it's not so much a con, but for a daily Madden user it is. They spread the promo out a lot, which kind of sucks considering most fears coming soon. So typically when a promo comes out like Mud Heroes, it came out on Friday. You want as much time from now until the next promo to enjoy these cards. Because you know by the time the next promo comes, those cards are going to lose value. You're going to probably want to sell them. New cards will come out. So for them to spread this promo out so far, so it's Friday was the first drop and it wasn't any really good cards. They're not dropping like the best cards until this Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday. So at that point, it'll already be like the 11th of October. And then at that point, we're almost at most feared. So I wish they had dropped them all together. From a content creator standpoint, I don't mind because it gives me content to make you guys daily of new Mud Heroes cards coming out and keep you up to date with the solos and everything. Also, it's another thing they did. They spread the solos out. They spread the whole thing out. So for me, like I said, as a content creator, it's good because I can spread my videos out for you guys, give you guys some more daily content. But as a Madden player, which I also am, it's kind of disappointing because guys like Saquon Barkley and Ramsey I can't get yet. They also separated the solos, which I don't like this. I wish I can go right in right when the solos come out and grind out the Nat Hero Fantasy Pack, but they did not allow that. I don't know when they'll give us access to that. I'd imagine, I'm hoping today at 10.30, they give us access to this pack by playing the rest of the solos, but we might not even get this till like Thursday or Friday. It all depends. Hoping today, because we, uh, we do have a house rules coming, so I'm hoping that since they'll give us that pack, they can give us this one. But that's one of the first cons is that this promo is very spread out. 
And I already kind of mentioned the card art, my opinions on that. I can't call that a con though, because it's very opinionated. Another thing is I wish they were more objective. So if you guys have played Madden in the past in Mud Heroes, you know that the objective list for Mud Heroes is always pretty cool. So if you go over to Mud Heroes, it'd be like, it'll be like earn sidekicks, let's say. And it'll be like, get three touchdowns with any Mud Hero card and earn a free sidekick. Play 20 solo challenges, earn a free sidekick. Play, score 10 touchdowns total with your team, earn a free sidekick. Do this, earn a low to your sidekick. Last year they did that, so if you did those objectives with some souls, you get a free player. Now, obviously, we're already getting a free player, so maybe EA decided, okay, well, they're getting a free player, so they don't really need those cards, but maybe I've just given them to us not. Because if they're not, at least, I could have put them into sets and could have made some players out of them. My personal opinion. Second on the list, coming over to the sets. So, I feel like some of the sets are kind of weird here. So, the exchange sets is one thing I think we're missing is a sidekick exchange. Not to make a sidekick, so like here you see it's low level sidekicks to make one big sidekick. Now what if you have a big sidekick that you don't want? So like I did the David DeCastro set and that David DeCastro set guaranteed me back one Nat Andrejo, however you say his name, Alejandro Villanueva, like 86. So I don't want him because I already did the Steelers set, I'm not going to use him. So there should be a sidekick set where I put in like one big one and two small ones and I get another big one. So I lose 20k but I can get another big one and use that for a set. Or something, or like a to or token if they had that, or anything along those lines. But they don't. They have none of the above, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to doing such. So then I'm just stuck with Alejandro Villanueva. And I don't understand why they have one for low and high, but they don't have an exchange for just the high. They should definitely have added that. Also, the sets for the players. They give us back Nat sidekicks, which I guess if you're a lower level team, it helps you. But I guess the more higher level teams, obviously, I'm not going to use an 86 or an 81 on my team. Maybe they should have went about that in a different way. I don't really know how they could have. But like I said, at least if you're going to give it back to us, allow us to have a sidekick exchange set. Also, kind of a lot of cards needed for these sets. Like, I think if you do the math on this right now, these cards go for what, 10k? When I did this set, it seemed like it was a little more expensive than it should have been. So let's say these are all 9k. You probably filled them out for like 8 or 9. 9, so that's how many of these do you need? You need 5, 10, 14. 14 times 9 is about like 136k. And then you got to get three high, which are, let's see, 136K plus 40, 40, 40, that's 120, so it's around to 140. It's about 260K right there. And then Vance McDonald's is another 9K, so that's about 270, let's go with. And then Villain Away was another 40. So this is called, this sec all these sets cost way too much right now because it just doesn't make sense. This set costs a little over 300K when Villain Away, I mean, DeCastro sells for about 260. So the sets are highly overpriced. I don't know if it's because people don't want to open the packs too much and aren't pulling the pieces or maybe people just you just can't justify selling them for that low because maybe it makes other sets worse i don't really know that's another issue i've had is that the sets aren't really useful so that whole little category of sets isn't really that useful to anyone right now i also like i said i wish they had more interface going on now guys let's get to the pros those are my main cons just the lack the spreading and leaving the, la the good players for last when at that point we're gonna almost be getting most feared now the pros for this promo in my opinion are we do get two free players that's the biggest pro so far we're going to get one free nap player from the solo challenge sequence right here but for 140 stars and i'm pretty sure it was announced that we will be getting a house rules free player so today is monday which means tomorrow will be the house rule day so stay tuned for your free potentially potentially free mutt heroes player hopefully it's a fantasy pack and it's not just a random we will see that tomorrow though so that's the biggest pro we get two free players with the way madden's been turning this year it's just barely likely we get one free player and now we're gonna get two so that's pretty that's pretty cool because i wanted like saquon and ramsey those are like the only two cards i really wanted so now i can just get both of them for free and head on out of this promo because usually what i hate is like when a mud heroes promo comes out i invest so many i invest a lot of coins into it and then most of your comes out and i lose all those coins so the beauty of this is that i get my free packs i buy my player i get my players for free and i head out and i keep all my coins stacked for the most part with the few players that i just have to sell left so that's one of the big pros second I do actually think the solo challenge sequence isn't bad. I wish they didn't spread it out, but it's not a hard it's not a hard sequence. It's pretty easy, very straightforward, cool graphic art. I really don't mind the sequence at all. It looks pretty cool. The only thing, like I said, is that they're spreading it. Other than that, the solo sequence is fine. Um, depending on what they do with the house rules, that could be pretty cool if they if they incorporate mud heroes in a certain way, like they're they're superheroes or they're wearing cool jerseys or something. That'd be really cool for the fact of just entertainment. But as a whole, a pro of mud hero, I guess. It's just that they do keep it almost intertwined with most feared. So if they had dropped other cards, the cards that came out first 
are not bad they're already low in price because people are anticipating most fears so that's the one good thing about it being so close is as you can see that with the way they set up mud heroes are not overly priced because they're so close to most fear people are waiting for that too people aren't over hyping these cards which i do like because in years past mud heroes could start off at like 300k 400k 500k but this year it's kind of straight to the point people know what they are and i'll give you one other thing on why they're so low in a second when i get over there so as you guys can see most of them are like 160 170 180 200 they're very very cheap because people just already know they are what they are if you want them you can have them in years past you couldn't just afford them that easily now another good thing that i think they did was adding this to the store i'll show you guys right here so we go to trading currency a 90 to 91 random hero is 6,000 training 6,000 training right now if you get the proper training values probably costs you a little around 200k give or take so the beauty of this is that it pretty much guarantees that almost all mud hero cards will be between like 170 and 280 300k because this pack could pull you anyone in the game so at the training value of 200k that's kind of more or less what they're valued for obviously some guys will go for a little bit more because they're better cards and people want them more if ea had not added this sets any of these random sidekick sets we'd be kind of screwed because I think if they had not added these, there'd be less definitiveness on who the pricing of each card or what the pricing of each card would be. So guys like Saquon could go for like 600k. Guys for Ramsey go for 600k. They'd have to be pulled straight out of packs. This pretty much tells you in the game that they're worth a little bit over or under 200k. So that's pretty much more or less what the market should be at. So for that reason, they've set the bar pretty low, and now we can afford both of them cards. Because in years past, a new promo like this comes out, Saquon and Ramsey might be 500k each, a million coins for two cards. That's ridiculous. Now, with the way this is going, I could probably get both cards for under 500k, or even free, because they're giving it to us for free. And, I mean, that's pretty much the pros I have on this promo. Two free cards, pretty decently good graphics, where they are. Where they are, the graphics are cool. I wish there were more of them. That's not bad. The price is being pretty much fixed and set low is pretty cool, too, so that we don't have to really kill our... A lot of people are saying, like, I have 600k, I think I'll be able to afford one. And thanks to the way they set it up this year, you can afford multiple ones of them. So, honestly, that was pretty cool, guys. Anyways, that's about it for the video. I personally, overall rating for the Mud Heroes. I think it's a 7 out of 10. A 10 out of 10 would have been... A lot of cards are kind of worthless in this. A lot of cards aren't too good. A lot of cards aren't usable. A 10 out of 10 would have been amazing cards, better name drops, uh, graphics all around, a little bit more from the solo sequences, more objectives. That would have been a 10 out of 10, but the only thing that gets a 10 out of 10 is probably Christmas promo. 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, again, it's pretty close, but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because we do get two free players. But besides that, all you're pretty much using this promo for is two free players. You're coming in, you're getting your two free players and kicking to the side. It's not like thing, it's not like Halloween where every day you're waking up for daily objectives, trick-or-treat collectibles, or any of that cool stuff. There's nothing daily to this promo. It's kind of just like you come in, you get your players, and you leave. So for that reason, it's 7 out of 10. Still a pretty good promo, though, guys. I do really enjoy it, and I'm happy we're getting two free players. But that's it, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of today's videos. I will be dropping two more for you guys. Stay tuned for House Rules tomorrow. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on that noti bell, boys, to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Make sure to comment down below your personal rating and opinions on the Mud Heroes promo. And drop a big like on the video, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.